Outside of Turkey, the Gülen movement is seen as a voice of moderation and tolerance. But inside of Turkey's borders, the group has been courting suspicion across the political spectrum. Fethullah Gülen'in ekibi, kadroları, vali olmuş, polis olmuş, savcı olmuş, hakim olmuş, bakan olmuş, milletvekili olmuş, öğretmen olmuş. Her yerde Gülen'in zihniyetiyle hareket ediyorlar. Evet, sen kendi memleketindeki gençleri, bilinçli, şey, okumayan insanları, onları okut, onları bu memleketin sadık vatandaşları yap. Alem için isimlerini tek tek, ünvanlarını bir bir açıklamalı, bu çürümüşleri, bu kansızları deşifre etmelidir. These doubts escalated internally after proof emerged of their involvement in cooking up evidence against a host of civil servants who were being investigated during the Ergenekon trials. In 2007, a big court case against an ultranationalist secular group within the Turkish military made headlines. Their code name was Ergenekon, or Deep State. They were accused of trying to overthrow the government, and for six years, a case was built against them. Many of the civil servants leading the investigation and the judges involved in trying the cases were later found out to be Gülenists. 274 people, including military officers, politicians, and journalists were arrested. They were later all acquitted as it was discovered that documents were forged and presented as evidence. But the arrests left a gaping hole within the state bureaucracy. Over 200 positions were waiting to be filled inside the military. Qualified, strong, and trustworthy people were needed, and the Gülen movement had its people ready to take on the role. They carved out a firm position for themselves within the Turkish bureaucracy. Five months after the Ergenekon arrests, the same group that tried and investigated Ergenekon took their turn trying to overthrow the government. Prosecutors believed to be members of the Gülen movement initiated a raid on dozens of individuals. Official documents were found to have been forged and illegal wiretaps were used to spy on the government. The men and women participating in the plots were part of this transnational network that enjoys a really positive reputation outside of Turkey for preaching a liberal and positive version of Islam and pushing education by sponsoring over 1,000 schools worldwide. Many in Turkey, however, feel that those initiatives are just a facade and that there is a dark side to the operations and objectives of the group. Şimdi bir din adamı vatana, millete hayırlı insan yetiştirecek maneviyatla ilgilenen bir insanın bu derece siyasi, politik, jeopolitik işlerle ilgilenip Cumhurbaşkanının dahi bilgisinden öte bilgi istihbarat toplayacak kadrolar kurması beklenen olağan herhangi bir din adamı görünüşünün çok çok dışında bir kimlik. Episodes like Ergenekon in 2013 and the recent failed military coup are examples of the group's subversive power as well as their covert operations. What is the value of all that good abroad if you're making chaos at home? <gülüyor>